This is part 35 of Angular 6 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss grouping routes and along the way, we'll also discuss creating a componentless route. This is the same project that we've been working with so far in this video series. At the moment, all our employee feature module routes are in this employee routing module. In our upcoming videos, we'll discuss lazy loading the employee module. Now, one of the requirements to be able to lazy load an Angular module is the following. All the routes in the Angular module that you want to lazy load should have the same route prefix. But if we take a look at our current routes in the employee routing module, notice these three routes do not have the same route prefix. The route path to display the list of employees is list, to create a new employee, create and to edit an existing employee, it is edit. Now what we want to do is modify these three routes to give them the same route prefix. Notice these three routes have the same route prefix, employees. So the first route, employees, is going to display the list of all available employees and the second route, employees slash create allows us to create a new employee and the third and final route employees slash edit slash one allows us to edit an existing employee in this case employee with the id value of one to easily achieve this i'm going to create a parent route for all these three existing routes and that parent route will have this route prefix employees so first let's create the parent route the path for the parent route is employees. Since this is a parent route, it's going to have child routes. To specify child routes, we use children property. Notice when I type comma and then ch, I see the children property. It's an array. Now let's cut these three existing routes and paste them within the children array. So with this change, all these three child routes are going to have the same route prefix employees. Now when we navigate to slash employees, we want to display the list of all available employees. So to achieve that, all we have to do right now is change the path of this first route to an empty string. So with this change, when we navigate to slash employees, we use the list employees component to display the list of all available employees. Similarly, when we navigate to employees slash create, use the create employee component to create a new employee. And finally, when we navigate to slash employee slash edit slash ID, use create employee component to edit the employee with the provided ID. So at this point, let's save our changes and take a quick look at the browser. Notice our home route works. Now, when I click on the list navigation menu item, we see the page not found component template. This because we don't have this list route anymore. To be able to see the list of all employees, the route path now should be slash employees. Similarly, when I click on this create navigation menu item, we again see the page not found component template. Again, because this route slash create does not exist. Now the route path for creating a new employee is slash employees slash create. So let's change the navigation menu items. This navigation menu is in our root component app component. So let's open the view template of our app component. So the route path to display the list of all employees is employees. Similarly to create a new employee, the route path is employees slash create. Notice now when we click this create navigation menu item, the route path changes to slash employees slash create and we see the create employee component to create a new employee. And when I click on this list navigation menu item, the route path changes to slash employees and we see the list of all available employees. When we click this edit button, Notice again, we see the page not found component template. This is because the route path now should be employees slash edit slash one instead of just slash edit slash one. So let's change the code within the click even handler of this edit button. This edit button is in our list employees component. So let's open the list employees component. And within the edit button click event handler, we want to redirect the user to slash employees 
slash edit and we are also passing the ID of the employee that we want to edit. Notice now when we click this edit button, the route path changes as expected employees slash edit slash the ID of the employee that we want to edit and we see that existing employee details so we can edit and save them. Now when we click this save button, we want to redirect the user to the employees route so we can see the list of all employees. But look what happens when I click this save button. We see the page not found component template displayed. That's because on the save button click, we are redirecting to the list path which we do not have anymore. So let's change the code within the save button. The save button is in our create employee component. So let's open our create employee component. Here is our on submit event handler and we want to change the route path here to employees. Let's do the same thing here as well. So let's go to the employees route again, edit an existing employee. Now when we click the save button, we should be redirected to employees route. There we go. And we see the list of all available employees. All we have done in this video is grouped all our existing routes under this one parent route employees. So all these child routes now have the same route prefix employees. This is one of the requirements for lazy loading an Angular module. In our next video, we'll discuss lazy loading our employee module. Now this parent route employees is called componentless route because it doesn't have a component associated with this route. Now when we define a route, we usually specify a path and a component associated with that route path. Now if you look at this parent route, it only has path and children properties. It doesn't have its own component. That's why this route is called componentless route. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.